Hey y'all, it's been a while. I uh, wanted to showcase what I've been doing the past couple of days since finishing PoE 3.24 last month. So I've been playing Diablo 4 Season 4 and it's been fantastic. So here's my thoughts on Diablo 4 Season 4. As both a new player, uh, someone who's only played through a campaign on release and being a Path of Exile player mostly. Uh, I want to break it down to four parts. Gameplay, graphics, the paragon or skill system, and the community. So, gameplay wise, it is very simple, but satisfying. Especially with the addition of Helltides, which makes it crazy mob density compared to normal D4. And from what I've heard is that back in the previous seasons, you couldn't do hell tides till you're much later into the game but now it's open as soon as you start and might have been perfect timing for me because it's when i started playing and now i also want to mention and talk about what you're seeing on the video which is pits um it's what i would compare to maps in path of exile uh, and it goes all the way up and a lot of people's goals end up being wanting to Break the highest record that they possibly can and I found myself doing that it's quite challenging and it's a ton of fun and Another content that you'll see in this video as well as I'm talking is the NMD It's nightmare dungeons and it's something that you need to run to level up glyphs, which ties into something else that I'm going to talk about into this video. Um, it's honestly a really cool gameplay loop because in order to run pits, you need to run NMD for the currency, I believe, to initiate the map. It's very cool. And then I'm not even talking about the health tides yet, which is just giving you endless amounts of items that it's going to help. And in ARPGs, it's really nice when stuff drops and it just feels good. You know what I mean? And that's one of them. And another thing I wanted to mention as far as gameplay goes is that the itemization is extremely different from Path of Exile. With there not being a true deterministic way of getting your gear or crafting it, you're expected to grind or trade for the base gear, which you then will need to temper, which is add stats that might be affecting specific skills or just general resistances, etc. And on top of that, you're also going to need to do master working. And that's another facet that adds kind of a gambler's mentality because what it does is after four ranks, it upgrades one of the affixes to 25%. It's a kind of cool thing. Um, I don't know how they would enter it in PoE, but for D4, it's really good. I enjoy it. And one of the things now outside of gameplay that stood out to me when I started playing is the graphics. God damn it, man. Diablo 4 is gorgeous, especially when you compare it to Path of Exile. I get that the comparison isn't fair because PoE is as old as my 15-year-old. And that's apples and oranges comparison. It's like a 97 Honda Civic against like a modern-day skyline. But that doesn't change the fact that Diablo 4 looks really good. The, comp the closer comparison would honestly be Path of Exile 2. But at his, but at his stance, he, it's incredibly nice to see my character looking good. I'm so used to my character looking so black, even with the microtransactions that I have. And I have a lot in Path of Exile. I still find my character in Diablo 4 looking much more badass but that's whatever right that's kind of an additional thing so let me talk about the paragon skill system that they have 
So, I think I've mentioned earlier is that I've played Diablo 4 before. So, it's kind of, the title's kind of misleading, clickbaity. But, when I played through it, I only played through the campaign for the story. So, I didn't get to experience endgame or anything. And as soon as I finished the story, I'm, I dropped it. It just, it just wasn't for me at the time. Uh, the par- So I didn't get to experience the Paragon system. So the Paragon system is incre- incredibly creative because it gives you the ability to use different glyphs. You rotate the boards. Um, so pathing and everything matters. Uh, I'd say much more than the skill points in Path of Exile. It requires a little bit more creativity as far as it goes. Um, the limitation, though, of Diablo is that you only have six skills. Five if you include your basic, um, which every class has, I believe. Uh, it's incredibly different from being able to access your entire keyboard of skills, right? Because in PoE, you have control and then the rest of your keyboard skills. You have a ton much more so it took some getting used to but it's not uh, bad uh, though the game makes it kind of one-dimensional as far as like what skills you're able to use it shoehorns you into use this basic with this core skill and then the rest is a supporting cast or mobility and it's again not bad it's just different um one thing I do wish is that I could replicate Herald of Ice explosions in Diablo 4. Can you just imagine how Herald of Ice feels in PoE and then clearing like a screen of a pit with just chain explosions? Uh, also, Reap uh, is the reason that I even brought that up because he showed me a video of his uh, Herald of Ice elementalist and it's nice. So let me go to the last part of my experience with Diablo 4, having played a couple of days now, about four, four days. Um, I was shocked because uh, the community for Diablo 4 was extremely kind. I don't know why I was expecting them to be bad, but they weren't. Albeit, you know, some people are argumentative, but that doesn't make them bad either. Um, people were offering free services to rush people uh, to World Tier 3 and World Tier 4, which in PoE terms is like back then we had Normal, Nightmare, Hell. It's the same thing uh, with World Tier 4 being the highest and giving you the best stuff. And it's the same people are even willing to kind of run through and give you levels just by running alongside them. And I don't even think they get a boost in loot or experience or anything like you do in PoE. Because the loot tables are per person. It's not shared. So I think think they're just wanting to do it just to do it just to be able to play with people and i thought that that was cool as fuck significantly different from when you boot up path of exile which kind of forces you to either play alone um or to like look for people and even then it's kind of pointless because when you group up it makes the monster health significantly more and unless you're Empyrean and Co, you don't really play in a group. And I say that as someone who has a core group of friends that I play with every every league. So, if there's a proper word for it, it's because PoE is a very much single player game. Um, it's the opposite of how I felt with Diablo 4. Um, and I also want to go ahead and mention a clan I found. So I found this clan called Nemesis. Uh, these dudes have been incredibly welcoming. They were super helpful. And at some points, they were even based. Uh, they are truly here to just play the game. And the idea that 
it feels better to play with people in a party it rings true for diablo 4 and this clan i'm super stoked that i found them they're good people and i've even argued with some of their uh, members and under at the end of the day you know it's not a big deal we're just here to uh, kill some monsters play a pve game and i think that pretty much covers my initial thoughts on diablo 4 as someone who played mostly poe but i'm a big fan of diablo 2 and kind of just dove in for this season 4 and it's great so if you've always wanted to try out diablo 4 i encourage you to do so now this season as i'm being told by a pretty much everyone is the season that blizzard seems to have listened to their fan base and let me tell you as someone who doesn't normally play d4 the game feels fantastic though if you're coming from poe there's a bit of a difference right like having a manual dodge ability so with this you know i might add diablo 4 to this channel's occasional videos after i find myself done with that specific poe league which is about a month um hope that i brought some insight from someone who used to be a d4 bad er because i was definitely part of that group and you know i have no reason to lie about that because i've been a d4 batter um if you're here from poe or diablo 4 throw me a subscribe or let me know if you play I'd love to help start you out, and maybe uh, we can run some pits or NMDs together, man. Alright, I'll see y'all later.